welcome to another video so if you're new here or if you just came across this video i actually did an unboxing my iphone 12 pro max in my channel months ago But in that video, I actually promised to do three videos. First is the customizing my home screen, the iOS 14. Second is sharing with you what are the apps that I am going to use. And the last one is buying cute accessories for my phone. However, college has been so busy as you can see. I didn't have the time to film it. So today, I am going to be sharing to you the second video which is the what's in my phone. So first, let me... Let me just share with you my lock screen. Yes, it's Rosie from, or Rose, but Jenny likes to call it Rosie. Lock. Marry me, Rosie! Okay. Oh, oh, that was easy. So, it's Rosie from Blackpink. Her solo is coming out this March 12th, so Stan Rosie. That's my bias. And I am someone who actually constantly changes her lock screen or home screen wallpaper, but since the announcement, I haven't changed these for days. So, that's a big thing for me. Anyways, let's start screen recording. So, I'm gonna put the screen here beside me. And now, the screen recording has started. Oh my god, I forgot to change my wallpaper, but my husband, it's Oikawa from Haikyuu. Anyways, this is what my home screen looks like. It's not yet customized. I can do that for another video but here we have two pages. This is the first page and the second page. For the first page, these are actually the apps that I usually use most of the time. And then for the second page, these are the apps that came with the phone. Let's start. First is the camera. I love taking pictures. Next, we have the photos. Hmm, do I show you my photos? Do I or do I not. Next is the clock. The reason why it's here in the first page, it's because uh, I use this for my alarm. Next, I have the app store because I install a lot of apps and then I delete them. Install, delete, install, delete because I am indecisive. Next, for the fun part, I actually just have here four folders. We have the socials, the photo and video, education, and the self-care. The self-care section is not only for self-care, it's also for productivity. The apps that I am going to be sharing with you are the apps that you don't have to pay in order for you to download however there are apps here that um you have to pay for for premium so let's start first with the socials first of course facebook i use facebook a lot but my favorite actually is instagram you may want to follow me in instagram i have two accounts one is rana behop and the other is miss behop next is my mess do i open this do i show you my messenger no Next, we have Share It. Um, the reason why I have Share It here, though I can use AirDrop, is because sometimes I have to transfer some photos to my Android phone because I still use that phone. Next is Snapchat. Snapchat, I just recently used. I mean, I use it for the filters but not actually for messaging people. But since the start of lockdown, I've been using it a lot. Surprisingly, I'm liking it so far. Next, I have the Pinterest. Ooh, my good. Ooh. Um, you can really tell what are those things that I, I usually search for. Yes, I'm a fan of Haikyuu, as you can tell. My favorite character is actually Oikawa. See, there's a lot. Only it for my Pinterest. I don't use it a lot. I only use it to download um, wallpapers or find some inspo pics. Next, I have Twitter. Well, mm, you don't have to see my Twitter. I rant there a lot. I rant about how hard life is how hard online class is anyways youtube subscribe i mean you don't have to but subscribe i have spotify and my this is actually not a premium account because i have already a spotify premium account in my android phone i listen to taylor swift to us the duo disney songs boys avenue worship songs i think that's it i mean there's a lot but that's what i'm constantly listening to these past few weeks next we have netflix i don't actually use this a lot during these times because i've been again busy with online classes but the last netflix show that i watched was the anime about i still don't know how to pronounce it the kake kero kake the anime where you constantly gamble i already finished the show but i don't know how to pronounce it i'm not an expert in japanese i don't speak japanese i also have youtube studio actually i don't know how to read the analytics but i use it mainly to like 
or give heart or reply to comments. For the fun part, the part that I'm very excited about is the photo and video. So I have here, let's start first with the Dazcam. Dazcam is a filter camera. You have here lots of options for cameras. You have to pay to unlock the Daz Pro to unlock all the cameras or accessories or you can unlock just choose one camera that you want to unlock. However, there are cameras that are already unlocked so you can use it for free. To give you an example, hmm, let me take a picture of my lip tints. Let's try the classic. This camera, the classic one, you don't have to pay for. And you can add here light streaks or glitters or fish eye. So let's try. So I'm going to take a picture of my lip tint. So this is how it looks like. Next, the lens body. So for the lens body, it's actually an app that I discovered on TikTok. It's like a self-timer app. So if you're someone who likes to take lots of photos, but you don't have someone to take those photos for you, then you can install this app. It's a self-timer app. So first, you click this timer the button in the center then you're going to choose the number of photos you want to take so for example i want to take five photos and you will choose the interval between each photo so for example for one photo three seconds or one second no three seconds meaning you are going to capture five photos and each of that photos will have three second interval for example again i'll use my lip tint okay let's start let's try so first photo That's one. And then we'll, it will automatically take the rest of the four photos. Okay, so that's it. Next is the Lightroom. Let me show you an example. Here is the photo of me wearing my school uniform. That's the original, yes. And then this is the after. So I just played with colors. Again, I like playing with colors. I am not going to go in depth explaining how I edit my photos because that could be for another video. But for now, let's focus on the apps. Next, I have Photoshop Fix for like removing unwanted areas. So let's try healing. Then I'm going to click the spot heal and remove areas that I don't want to be seen. For example, I don't like this here. I'm going to remove that. See? It works wonders. Next is the Snow app. I actually download Snow because of the filters that comes with it. See? It's fun, right? Ooh, imagine if I was this flawless. The highlight? This one. When you want to pretend like you have it all together. But you don't because you're stuck in college. Next is the Face Tune or Face Tune. I use this mainly for adding light streaks. Wait, I'm going to show you. For example, I want to add rainbow here. Oh, actually, you have to pay for the other lights, but there are some that's already free. There are some that are actually good, but again, you have to pay for. Next is the Vicos. So, if you want to create small, quick vlogs, you can use this because it has already like templates. For example, let me show to you. Let me try an example. You get the point. Next is the Remini. 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 Anyways, I'm going to show you an example of the photos that I used Remini with. So, for example, this one. Big picture of me and my best friend when we were in grade 4. Yes, that's me. That's my best friend. And it's a blurry picture, but if you use the app, it works wonders. Look. Wow. See? Look at my best friend's face, so clear. And look at me, a class picture, and I'm not looking at the camera. It's here forever, so hi to my classmates. I was young, and I didn't know what to do. Next is the Google Photos. This app is very helpful because it also helps back up your photos. Sometimes I don't trust the cloud. Next is the iMovie and the clips. However, these already came with the phone and I didn't really download it and I haven't used it. Next, you have PixArt. I use this to make the thumbnails because it's very easy to use. This thumbnail, while we're at it, you might want to check out the video. So this is what the website looks like. You'll just type in studystream.live and it will bring you to this 
website. But usually I use Canva for the texts because I like the fonts in the Canva. And that's it. That's it for the photo and video apps. Next is the education. So since we're still in a pandemic, we have online classes. So let's start with the pools. Pools is actually the Brightspace app, LMS, we use in our school. These are the courses that I am enrolled to. We have five major accounting subjects, an IT subject, tax subject, and a business management subject. We also have PE, online PE, online volleyball PE. Next is the Teams. The Teams app is actually the app that we use to conduct our virtual meetings. Next, we have Excel because if you're an accountancy student, Excel is really your best friend. I have Drive because there are some files that we have in school that I upload here. Then we have a Zoom. Sometimes you just want to lay down and join classes while you're sleeping. I mean, don't sleep in your online class. Next is the self-care or the productivity apps. So, okay, these are the unpaid apps that I have for self-care or productivity. First is the Sayana. Where, okay, just listen to this. I use this to reduce my anxiety because online classes are giving me anxiety. So if you want to develop gratitude, if you want to fix your negative thinking, if you want to reduce anxiety, if you want to improve your self-esteem, then download this app. I have the Do app. This is where I do all my the things that I have to do in school. Next is the Flat Tomato app. So Flat Tomato app is a study timer so this is where i do my pomodoro session so if you're new here i actually have pomodoro and study with me videos i created playlists so if you want to watch please watch let's be productive together so how to use this is so you're going to long press and hold and then you're going to choose the time that you want to study so for me i want 25 minutes pomodoro session and five minutes rest if you want to stop you can long press this clock and stop it you can choose here you can adjust your screen you can choose um, concrete emerald peter peter river amethyst wet asphalt green sea but i prefer the belly's hole next we have the flow app i use this to track my last app is the bible what i love about this app is it gives you daily motivation code the verse of the day today is godly sorrow brings repentance that leads to salvation and leaves no regret but worldly sorrow brings that yes to godly sorrows no to worldly sorrows okay hello you're actually in my phone right now i'm using my phone to vlog the outro because my camera battery died so i just want to say that thank you for hanging out with me i hope you had fun because i did had fun though i'm really tired and still decided to shoot this video so that's dedication the next time you'll see me i look better not haggard this is the face of an exhausted stressed out college student Bye!